Hi Year 7, I hope you're keeping well. This week you've been set some tasks on percentages and although you've been taught it in class, I thought I'd run through it just in case you need some help. So first of all, certain facts you need to know percentage wise. To find 50% of something, you need to divide by two. To find 25% of something, you can either divide by four or divide by two, then divide by two again. To find 10%, you divide by 10. To find 5%, you can divide by 20 or, and this is probably easier, divide by 10 and then divide by 2. And then finally, to find 1%, you divide by 100. So if I have an example of, say, £600, Fifty percent of six hundred pounds would equal six hundred pounds divided by two, which is three hundred pounds. Twenty-five percent. First of all, I'll do six hundred divided by two is three hundred pounds, and then divided by two again, which will give me one hundred and fifty pounds. Find 10%, that would be £600, divided by 10, which will equal £60. 5%, so I'll do £600, divided by 10, which is £60, and then finally divided by 2, which is £30. 1%, would equal six hundred pounds divided by a hundred, which equals six. So they're straightforward percentages you need to know how to do. You can use these to find a more complicated one. For example, if I wanted to find, for example, thirty-four percent of eighty. <coughs> I can think, how can I make 34%? Now 34%, I can make up, using the ones I know, I'd say 34% is 10%, and another 10%, and another 10%, and a 1%, a 1%, a 1%, and another 1%. And again, remind you, to find 10%, you divide by 10. So that will be 80 divided by 10, which is 8. Again, that will be 80 divided by 10, which is 8. 80 divided by 10, which is 8. 80 divided by 100, which is 0 0.8. 80 divided by 100, which is 0 0.8. 80 divided by 100, which again is 0 0.8, and of course, 80 divided by 100, which is 0 0.8. And then I would just add those together. 8, 16, 24, 32. So two carry the three, put my decimal point there. Then I've got 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 27.2 would be my answer. I mean, there are quicker ways of doing this. I could have, could have for example, after finding 10%, I could have doubled that to find 20%, because 20% would be double that, and that would be 16. That saves me some time here. 1% is 0.8, so 4%, I could just times that by 4, and that would give me 3.2. And then I would add these and this together to give me my answer. Now, one other thing I, you need to know about, what I'm going to refer to when I go for the examples, is a multiplier. Very important word 
in percentages. Now a multiplier is a percentage divided by 100 to give a decimal. For example, 56%. To find a multiplier, divide that by 100, and that will equal 0 0.56. So this is the multiplier for 56%. Okay, let's look at some questions. So I'm going through the homework task now that you've got. My questions are different. You'll be asked to do the same things, but they'll be different. Okay, so first of all, 50% of 220. So remember, to find 50%, we divide by two. So this one here, I'll do 220 divided by two, which will be 110. 25% of 620. So I'm going to do 620 divided by 2, which is 310, and then divided by 2 again, which is 155. 20% of 160, I'm going to find 10%. 10% is 160 divided by 10, which is 16. And to find 20%, I'll either add that on again or just times it by 2. So 20% is 16 times by 2, which is 32. I'll do one more. 75% of 460. The way I'm going to do that one, 75%, that to me is shouting out 50% and 25%. So to find 50%, I'll do 460 divided by 2, which is 230. 25% is half of that. That's going to be 230 divided by 2, which is 115. And then to find 75%, I add these together to give me 3, 4, 5. Okay, next page, the next question on this task this is the percentage of amounts one. Jack gets six pound forty pocket money a week. So all of this is to do with Jack's pocket money. Ten percent of six pound forty. So to do this, we do six pound forty divided by ten, which will be zero point six four. But it wants the answer in pence, so it will be sixty four pence. Five percent of six pound forty. So to find five percent, we just need to half this, so that'd be thirty-two p. And twenty percent of six pound forty, it's double this. Twenty percent is twice as twice ten percent. So times that by two, so that'd be one pound twenty-eight. Okay, like it says here, be careful. Some are in pounds, some are in pence. This question here, Jack spends 50% of his pocket money on sweets and 35% on magazines. He saves the rest. So, I'm thinking about how much did he actually save? If he spends 50% on pocket money and 35% on magazines, remember, 100% is everything. So these two together, 15% plus 35%, is 50%. So if he spends 50%, he saves 50%. So let's go back to the question then. So he spends 15% on sweets. Right? We've worked out 10% is 64p, and we've worked out that 5% is 32p. So 15% is 10% plus 5%, which is 64 plus 32, which is 96p. Magazines, he spent 35%. Now using this, I can see 20, 10 and 5 gives me 35%. So 35% is 20% plus 10% plus 5%. 
it wants the answer in pounds, so I'm going to leave it all in pounds. So this will be £1.28. This will be zero pounds and 64 pence and this will be zero pounds and 32 pence adding them up together where should i do it i'll do it over here one pound 28 plus zero pound 64 plus zero pound 32 that's four carry the one six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve two carry the one and two two pound 24 Now we save 50% and to find 50% you'll remember it's divided by 2. So £6.40 there, so 50% is £6.40 divided by 2 which is £3.20 which will go in there. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward percentages using facts you know. Going back to here again, so we've got, I'll come back just to recap. Fifty percent you divide by two, twenty-five percent you can divide by four in one go, or divide by two, then divide by two again. Ten percent you divide by ten. Five percent divide by twenty, or divide by ten, then divide by two. And one percent divide by a hundred. It's going to change that. It doesn't look like a one. Okay, so that's that. Now I think the next task is where multipliers come to play. Excuse me. I'm going to mount shape. Now, you can do these in a similar way to what we did before. So, if I didn't have a calculator, 74%, I would split that into things I know. For example, to get 74%, I'll have 50, a 10, another 10, a one, a one, a one, and a one. So if I didn't have a calculator, and I've got one somewhere, I could do it like this. So that would be set, uh, that would be 20 divided by two, which is 10. That will be 20 divided by 10, which is two. 20 divided by 10, which is two. 20 divided by 100, which is 0.2. 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 That's a bit boring, but there's a quicker way. I'll show you in a second. So adding these together, put my decimal point. That's not eight there. Then what have I got here? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14.8. Now that takes a lot of effort and it's important that you can do it this way, but you need to be able to calculate percentages using a calculator. And this is where our multiplier comes into play. So if I looked at this one again, 74% of 20, to do this with a calculator, first of all, I'd find my multiplier. So I said before, where is it? Going back. I don't know where I wrote it. Can't find it, so I'll write it again. So you multiply. Is your percentage divided by 100? So on this one, I've got 74%, so I find my multiplier, 74 divided by 100, which is 0 0.74. Then to find my answer, I simply multiply my multiplier by the quantity, and that will give me the same answer, which is a lot easier and quicker. Another example, I don't know, Reese, which one do you want? 48 of 20, bottom right. Bottom right, 48% of 20. Cheers, Reese. So 48% of 20. So again, I find my multiplier. 48 divided by 100 is 0 0.48. 
and then multiply this times by 20, which is, what's that, 9.6. Okay, and that's how you do all of those questions, okay? Find your multiplier by dividing by 100, then multiply this by your quantity. The final question on percentages two, let's have another sheet. Percentage discounts. Rohan went shopping in the sales. Below is a list of the items he bought. Work out how much he paid for each item after percentage discount was made. Which one do you want, Rhys? Uh, headphones. Right, so we're going to do headphones. So, original cost is £6, discount is 20%. So I'm going to use multipliers again. So 20% of £6. So, 20 divided by 100 is 0.2 or 0 0.20. 0 0.20 times by six pounds is one pound 20. So that is your discount. So that is one pound 20 there. So your actual price paid will be this minus your discount. So the price paid will equal six pound minus one pound 20, which is four pound 80. Now there's another way to do it, which is a little bit quicker, perhaps. Which one, Reese? Headphones. Oh uh, no, speakers. Speakers, right, so speakers here. Thanks, Reese. We've yeah. got 40 pounds, 10% discount. Now remembering that 100% is everything. If I'm taking 10% off, I'm actually left with 90%. So I'm basically all I've got to do is find 90% of 40 pounds. So 90 divided by 100 is 0 0.9 or 0 0.90. And then 0 0.9 times 40 is 36 pounds. Okay, so the answer to that will be £36. Okay, hopefully that helps. I know you've all done that in the classroom, but that will give you a bit more help if you need it. I've hoped you worked through the lesson first. Um, tomorrow, I hope to upload some help on percentages three and percentages four. Okay, good luck.